Welcome one and welcome all, baby, to the People's Channel, Orchids for Dummies. Now, this is Foul Pal Darrell, and in today's video, we will be talking about your orchid collection, what orchids to fertilize, and what orchids you don't want to fertilize. You gotta stay tuned. Now, welcome back. This beautiful Phalaenopsis right here is potted only in a ceramic pot where you can see I have placed a lot of moss on top, although in the in the pot is actually bark. But because I have so much moss on top, I want to keep in mind how much fertilizer I am using because too much fertilizers can burn the roots. These roots were dried out okay before i actually put the moss in there okay so that is what moss is actually going to do is keep those area roots and keep the top of that orchid hydrated and moist okay now this beautiful phalaenopsis right here the moss is gone completely bad okay right here is what you have is a soft build up and you want to keep that in mind when you are repotting your orchids because when you water multiple orchids, you might get into the habit of watering them all the same. If you don't know, there are different ways to water different orchids in different setups. In this setup, this Phalaenopsis orchid has half moss with bark on the bottom. So in this event, I will pull all of this bad moss off okay because it's not going to absorb any nutrients okay and it's going to keep the roots from being hydrated and it's going to keep it from being well ventilated okay so you got to stay tuned baby you got to now this phalaenopsis right here seems to be in good health but it actually just lost six leaves in a matter of a week or two although it has beautiful roots this phalaenopsis right here will not receive any fertilizer because it is on the decline. Although we might initially think that giving it fertilizer will help it, it will actually hurt your phalaenopsis orchid. In the event that it starts to lose multiple leaves, the only thing that you can do is foliar feed or totally soak the whole orchid. Okay, that's a big hassle. I would not recommend it. All I would recommend is just keeping the mo the media moist, not soggy, but definitely moist with pure water. Okay, no minerals, no salts. Okay, the same goes for your orchids that are potted in complete moss. You don't want to over fertilize it as it will get that salt buildup as well. Okay. This is some good moss right here, okay? That is what good moss looks like. It's only a top layer, so in the event that it spins out, what I would do is just remove that top layer and replace it, as you will see later in this video. Stay tuned. This is her in her new pot. I added a lot more bark into it, okay? Still missed a spot or two of sphagnum moss, and I just left just enough sphagnum on top, okay? And this is my phalaenopsis that has 11 leaves. So she would be just fine, honey. I will keep you guys updated, but you got to stay tuned. Okay, so many of us have purchased more orchids recently offline than we have ever purchased in our lives. And so now we are preparing to repot those orchids. Some of those orchids that were in bloom they are now doing nothing. If they are not growing roots or growing new leaves, they are dormant, okay? Dormancy only means that it's taking a rest to prepare for the next growing season. I would not fertilize those orchids as well, okay? Only after all of my orchids that don't receive fertilizer have been wet and watered, I would take them out and then add fertilizers for the rest of my collection. Keep it in mind, 
All of these orchids are in great condition. You don't have any bugs, any pests. You don't have any um, media that is broken down, rotted roots. You don't have that in this water. Thank you and stay. Bell Pals, this right here is also going to be an indication that you have a salt buildup. This house plant right here, I don't even fertilize. It was given to me this way, so I know not to put some Epsom salt in here. She will be just fine, honey. So, welcome on back. Like I said, a lot of us have purchased new orchids this season. And if you have an orchid that is still in bloom, that is almost done blooming, Go ahead and start giving it just some pure rain water, okay? Keeping the fertilizer down to a minimum, okay? Also, when you have an orchid and the blooms are completely spent just as this, go ahead, give it just rain water. You don't want to fertilize it, especially if it's in one of those clear plastic pots like this from the cellar with all of this broken down um, peat moss. Okay, this is broken down. This is not good. Okay, so we don't want to fertilize it, especially if the phalaenopsis orchid is not showing us any indication of new growth. Okay, stay tuned. Pal pals, trust and believe. I know when you have an orchid that you love that is sick, dehydrated, and a rootless phalaenopsis that has its um, last root on death door. You want to give it all the fertilizers that you can at once to try to revive it. Foul pals, that is not going to work, okay? Right now, she is going to reject any fertilizer. She is going to use the last two leaves that she has to produce either a new root or a new leaf, okay? I know this. I know that's not what you want to hear, but it's only going to make it worse adding fertilizer into it. Stay tuned. Welcome on back, foul pals. You see this beautiful Sogo Yenlin right here with all these beautiful roots with the new leaf coming out with my beautiful um, Shilleriana. You can see a beautiful spike is growing, okay? With this beautiful orchid right here with so many kikis and roots. Fertilizing your orchids in water culture is a different video. However, these are the type of orchids that you would want to fertilize, okay? You would have to have a strong understanding of fertilization because you wanna give your orchids a well-balanced diet, okay? I have a whole playlist on orchid fertilizer. I will leave it at the end of this video. Foul Pals, I thank you guys so much for staying tuned. Until next time.